Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Emily Younger. Jeff has the night off. Governor Laura Kelly announcing today what she's calling the second largest private investment in Kansas history. The state is partnering with Integra Technologies for a semiconductor manufacturing plant in Wichita. It's expected to create at least 2,000 jobs. It would be a $1.8 billion capital investment in the Wichita area once it receives federal chips for America funding. Integra's investment will have ripple effects throughout Wichita and the entire state. And for every $1 of state investment in this project, Integra will generate over $200 of private investment. And our analysis made Kansas the clear choice for Integra's expansion. And this will be the largest expansion of its kind in the country. Today's announcement coming after the state approved Integra's Apex incentive application. The company will be reimbursed after it has made investments and hired employees. So let's take a look at those incentives. A tax credit of more than $180 million, partial payroll reimbursement of about $65 million, training reimbursement of $25 million, and $10 million for residency and relocation. There's also a sales tax exemption certificate for construction equipment and materials for more than 23 million. Altogether, the total package is worth more than $304 million. Some local incentives are also needed. Joining us with more on that, KSN's Hannah Adamson. She has our continuing coverage of this story. Hannah. Emily, local leaders say today's announcement was a critical first step, but nothing is guaranteed just yet. This was essentially the state stamp of approval on this project. Now local leaders will have to finalize their plans to gain the federal funding necessary for this $1.8 billion investment. We've been working on this behind the scenes for uh, uh, years now. Wichita Mayor Brandon Whipple in Topeka Thursday telling KSN News local leaders will continue to do their part to bring a 1.2 million square foot semiconductor plant to Wichita. The amount of space that they plan on building uh, is really just transformational for our economy. So it's not easy to find that amount of space right off the bat. So we are working with our economic development team. Construction can begin only if federal CHIPS Act funding is approved. In order for Integra Technologies to apply for that funding, the company needs state and local incentive packages in place. You're going to see things that, uh, on our agenda in the future where that uh, we're providing some support, uh, not only written support, but also probably some financial support uh, to make sure that uh, that we get the chip tax portion of this as we move forward. While the state has put forth roughly $300 million in project incentives over the next 10 years, both Sedgwick County and the city of Wichita are hammering out their plans for incentive packages, some of which are currently covered by NDAs. There'll probably be some infrastructure support, again, workforce training. We haven't seen any of this yet. Um, I haven't specifically heard about a property tax abatement or anything like that, but that would be consistent with, with this type of project. As for clawbacks, city council members say it's too early to tell what those could look like, but are confident in their review process moving forward. On the city side, we tend to do reviews, whether it's annually or on a five-year basis, to see if the job creation numbers that were projected were actually met. It's going to take you know, a few years before they're ever producing anything. This is a long-term project that's going to have a lot of ramifications. We also reached out to the Greater Wichita Partnership for comment. A partnership spokesperson says the group will be open to answering additional questions Friday morning. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3. Hannah, thank you. A report from Wichita State Center for Economic Development and Business Research measured the expected economic impact for Kansas. It says the project would create a new value over 10 years of $182 million for Kansas, with a total cost estimated at $76 million. The center says that creates a return on investment of more than 237 percent. Senator Jerry Moran weighing in on the announcement, saying in part, quote, Integra's decision to expand its Wichita operations operations for its largest semiconductor project to date is a testament to the talented workforce in Kansas and the importance of ensuring a reliable U.S. supply of microchips. And of course, stay with KSN News for continuing coverage of the state's announcement on the deal with Integra, both on air and online.